the name of Jesus everyone good morning good afternoon and good evening whatever you're watching this video karibuni sana this is Pauline Kiarago and I'm born again I am a passionate lover of God and today on our show I'm so much excited I'm all honored to have a very a uh, great man of God I honor him so much I honor the anointing upon you. Thank you so much. And it's so good to have you uh, Anna, here. Amen. Yeah, so can you introduce yourself? Okay. So Thank you so much for uh, bringing me in. For it, God bless you so much. Amen. My name is Aleva and Luke Mwadi. Yeah. And uh, I am a minister of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate God because of his faithfulness. Amen. I'm the senior pastor in Leeching Grace Churches. And uh, we are located in Gidurai 44. That is where I minister. Yeah. And uh, we really appreciate God for this platform wow. and what you are doing. Amen. Thank you so much for having me. You're most welcome to God be all the glory. Glory to God. Yeah, and it's a good church. It's an amazing place Amen. where people learn Christ. Yes. And I love your teaching so, so much. By the guys, you may follow him on uh, Facebook. Uh, Pastor Luke Mwavi. Yes. Yes. I'm blessed. I'm telling you the teachings. Oh, yes. They are so edifying. And it's an honor to have you today. Glory be to God. Amen. And yes. so today we are handling a very awesome topic. Yes. That uh, the mind mm -hmm. is the battlefield. Yeah, the mind is the battlefield. Oh yeah. Yes. So can you may take us to <coughs> that topic? Yeah, okay. Then I do that you are edified. Yeah, you are edified. As a matter of fact, you are not only in You are not only in the Christ who has imparted the Yeah. Hata hagai katena, takuwa na amani, takuwa na furaha, na pia vita, vya kiroho hata kuwa na kunangana kuingi. Because until somebody comes to understand that the mind is the battlefield, the battles may continue to escalate. But when somebody comes and understands that the greatest battle is not the spiritual warfare, it is the mind warfare. Wow. Because already the battle has been won. Yes. But many believers do believe that we need to win the, win the battle. Uh -huh. That is why the greatest uh, problem with the church today is not uh, forces of darkness or any other thing. Yeah. It is the knowledge that we have about Christ. Yeah. So knowing your identity, coming to the place of knowledge, that is why the Bible says in the book of First John, mm -hmm. chapter number one, I think verse two, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. Uh -huh. If, uh, and be in good health, uh -huh. even as your soul prospers. Yeah. That means your mind is able to grasp the truth. Then the wow. light comes. Wow. You are able now to be founded because it is possible for a believer to be born again. Yeah. It's possible for a believer to be in salvation, mm -hmm. but yet he's still traveling to make his ways light with God. Lakini wakati Christ wanafika mahali pakujua, ya kuwa but ameshida uh, Kristo alishida vita. Yeah. Kwa hivyo vita vikubwa ambavyo tunapigana ni uh -huh. tukamilike katika ufahamu. Mm. Mawazo yetu yaweze kukubaliana na vile neno la Mungu linavyosema. Wow. Kwa sababu Kristo anaweza kuwa amekobolewa mm. lakini hajui amekobolewa. Mm. Anaweza kuwa amesamehewa dhabi zake yeah. lakini hajajua amesamehewa. True. No wonder Isaiah anasema uh -huh. ya kuwa thou shall keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted on thee. So the mind, when it is aligned with the truth, that person will automatically enjoy peace. But when the mind of a man is not aligned with the truth, that person will be somebody who will be troubled in life. And one of the greatest things that we need to come, I was telling somebody today in fact, that uh, the problem because he was, still, he was telling me, Pastor, I am so troubled by so many things. I am not at peace. I told him that, you know, when we come to the knowledge of truth, we are able to have power and dominion even over our mind. Wow. Yes, to control, you can decide this is what I want. That is why the book of Philippians says that everything that is perfect is good, you know. Yeah. Consider this. These are the things that you need to focus on. Wow. You have the ability upon even the decision you make. Wow. So our listeners, well, uh, well, uh, and whoever is watching us, whenever you are watching us, I would like you to know that one of the greatest battle we are facing today mm -hmm. is none other but the mind warfare. Wow. And my prayer is that we may continue to grow in the knowledge of Christ. Amen. Because the more we do that, yeah. the greater we continue to live in this life. Oh, yeah. The more joyful we become in destiny. Paul is praying to the church and he's praying and telling them, yeah. my prayer and desire for his life yeah. is that they might be saved. Wow. For I bear them like they have a zeal of God, mm. but without knowledge. So it is possible for a believer uh -huh. 
to have a zeal, uh -huh. but without knowledge. Oh. And that is where the line has been drawn. Ah. There is that kind of a teaching yeah. that continues to make men, you know, have emotions. It builds on the emotions. Mm. And I was teaching somewhere and I told them that uh, there are people who go to church with their heart yeah. and uh, they don't carry along their mind. Mm -hmm. Because uh -huh. if you don't carry along your mind, mm -hmm. You automatically what happens is deception. That is why we are finding people are being swayed away by every weed of doctrine. Yeah. You know, today it is this kind of teaching. Yeah. Tomorrow you agree with another one kind of a teaching. Uh -huh. The other day you agree to another kind of a teaching. Uh -huh. The problem is nothing else but the mind. We are not able now to agree. Just like the Belayans, mm -hmm. even after we are taught the word of God, yeah. we can use our mind to go back to the word and run that, that which you have been taught. If it is true, uh -huh. if it is a rhyme yeah. to ask the New Testament believer, yeah. because you can be in the old ministry, mm -hmm. which is the ministry of the Lord, okay. and you can be in the ministry of life in the state. Yeah. It's a two different dimension of, of, of view. Yeah. One mm -hmm. is a believer is seeking for a God. Mm -hmm. He's trying to do something to please God. Mm -hmm. But another one, the approach is that I have already pleased God. Ah, yeah. I am complete in Him. Uh -huh. You know, these two people have a different view of, of, of what is happening. Oh, yeah. So one can enjoy peace. Uh -huh. One has entered into God's list, yeah. but another one has not entered into God's list. So that is the difference. So that is why we must be very sober. Oh, yeah. Even as we run mm -hmm. the truth about the Word of God. We are able to distinguish between the Old Testament, the New Testament. Yeah. We are able to distinguish between life before the cross, life after the cross. Yeah. And this requires soberness of the mind. Yeah, true. Requires somebody to be, you know, sober. You don't need to be emotional. Yeah. Or, you know, because that is the problem that many faces. Yeah. As long as somewhere people are mentioning God, mm -hmm. then you agree with whatever they are saying. Same. So yeah. the mind has a lot of, it has a very vital lot. To pray then in our faith, yeah. we must be led to be taught to agree with the word of God. Oh, yeah. Because many of the time we find people are not ready to agree with what the scripture says. The Bible says it. they want to believe what man says, the philosophies of men. So that is why we are tackling this wonderful and amazing topic yes. about the mind warfare. Oh, yeah. And uh, my prayer for Lazo mm -hmm. is that our mind will continue. Uh, to grow greater and stronger. Amen. Because as long as you know, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Right. So that means you have a, know a knowing. Yeah. Your mind is sober enough to agree with the truth about what the word of God says. Oh, yeah. But uh, many of the time we find uh, there, is, there, is, there is something that happens. We don't agree with the word of God. Sometimes yeah. you are facing the challenges of life. And at least you are able maybe to look at the things happening outside your life. But one of the greatest things we need to do is to arrive our mind according. Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Because he trusted on thee. He is not wavered. He learns and agrees with the truth. That man will automatically walk in peace, in the perfect peace of God. So the believer in Christ requires uh, to utilize his mind mm -hmm. and to continue running and knowing the truth. Yeah. No wonder the Bible says we grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Praise be to the name of the living Amen. God. This becomes a joyful understanding mm -hmm. because you realize that many people who are in charge, yeah. one of the major things they refuse to utilize is their mind. Mm -hmm. They don't want to listen for themselves. Yes. Yeah. The Bible says, come, let's listen together. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't come and listen together. We just want to hear what our hearts, you know, what we feel is exciting our, our heart, our life, yeah. you know, what makes us emotional, but we don't want to utilize. That is why even we say salvation is not an emotional feeling. Salvation is a knowing that I have come to the place of knowledge. I don't need to be emotional. I don't need to just wake up one day and say, you know, you are all those sort of things. Yeah. I just need to know wow. I am a child of God, yes. born of the Spirit, oh, yeah. calling eternity in me. Uh -huh. I know. That is not something that I need somebody to remind me. Yeah. I know about it. Oh, wow. And for coming to that knowledge uh -huh. is the greatest blessing. 
Wow. That is why we enjoy peace. Oh, amazing. Amen. Hey, that is a very good one. It's yes, very, yes. I find very enlightening. Yeah, very true. That uh, it is very important. We win the battle yes, in our mind. In our mind. Very Because true. spiritually, the battle has been won. Now we are the most deliverance, the greatest deliverance that is happening to us now is 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 from ignorance. We have a knowledge problem. The church is not facing from that Christ did not do a perfect work. He did a perfect job on that cross. We are completing Christ who is the head of all prosperity. So the coming of that awareness requires the mind. If you don't utilize your mind, you will not know. How can we sing the Lord's song yeah. in the land of captivity? So we have to come to the place of knowledge. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah that uh, therefore by knowledge shall my just be delivered. Yeah. So the just is delivered by coming to the place of knowledge. If he has not come to the place of knowledge, he's still a captive. He's still a slave. That person is still in struggle. That is why he must come to the place of knowledge. And the knowledge you have to utilize your mind. That is why Isaiah was so cut. Therefore, by knowledge, therefore, uh, thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind, 20, uh, that is Isaiah 26, verse 3, yes. thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted on thee. The mind should be aligned to the knowledge of Christ. That is now what we are working now in the New Testament. You know, For us to come to agreement with what the word of God says. And we agree that when the word of God says you are licious, yeah. you agree on that. You may look outside and think I am not licious. There is no way I can become righteous. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, the word says you are righteous. So will you believe yourself or the word, what the word of God says? We have to believe the word of God. Oh, yeah. Now that is the battle we are fighting today. That is why sometimes you find even people... Uh, who are in charge. Yeah. Even the spiritual warfare, the kind of warfare as they are fighting uh -huh. is, is, is not according to the New Testament. They are fighting outside the New Testament. People will believe a lie mm. more than the truth. When mm. God says you are not cursed, uh -huh. then you believe you have a curse. Uh -huh. When the word of God says that you are blessed, uh -huh. then you believe you, you know you are poor, you are, you, are, you are not blessed. Mm. I need God to bless my life. We are already blessed. That that are coming to that knowledge mm -hmm. is a great is a great blessing. No wonder the church today is struggling, especially on matters of you know. I saw God speak to me, telling me that I need to look for a sacrifice. I saw God, you know. Uh, I saw myself fighting some spirits. Like now, there are teachings that says about uh, about something like snails. Vile kono kono zinafanya kazi. You know, ukiona hiyo roko na uote na nisai ni ya nini. Stagnation. 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 Natabea pole pole katika maisha. Ukiona panya ni roho ya maskini. Unakibizi wana umaskini. You know those kind of teachings. And because you have allowed that deception in your mind, it will bar those things. No wonder those people, they don't say that hawa onge ukuongo. Wana onge akweli wana fukuzi wana mamende na hizo kono kono. Kwa sababu ya nini? Kwa sababu wamekubalisha huo uongo uchukue nafasi katika mawazo yao. You can allow darkness and you can allow light. That is why there's somebody that said uh, light believing produces light living. Long believing produces long long living. Hey, light believing produces light living. Long believing produces long living. You believe a lie you will live long because you have already fed your mind. You get the point. Yes. And that is what is happening. Yes. This kind of things we call spiritual warfare, yeah. some of those things are in the in the realm of, of the mind. Yeah. Christ did a perfect job. You are already loose. You are free. Yes. The Bible says, stand fast, TV fast in the liberty. Uh -huh. Wherefore Christ has set you free. Wow. So the battle warfare, yeah. the battle mind, the warfare is now to stand, to remain there. Yeah. Yeah. Unshakable. Wow. Steady fast, yes. immovable, mm. always abiding in the work of the Lord. Oh. Telling God, no matter I dreamt with a, with a cat, a black cat, mm. yeah, I, there is no witchcraft against him. Oh, yeah. I know who I am in God. Oh, yeah. Greater is he that is in me. That is the kind of the battle, of, uh, the, the mind warfare we find. But sometimes you just think it's within the outside things. That is why when you believe you are bewitched, 
your auntie is bewitching you, yeah. you will almost, it is almost automatic when you go to sleep, you dream yeah. with her. Exactly. You know, you are struggling with her, uh, she is fighting you, yeah. because you have already believed a lie. Mm -hmm. So the greatest problem we have today is the knowledge problem, yeah. and the knowledge uh, comes through the mind. Mm -hmm. You have to let the light information come to you. Wow. God keeps a man whose mind is stayed on him yeah. in perfect peace. Yeah. And uh, my prayer for each and every one of us, this will be the joy that we will continue to experience Amen. because our mind has come to the knowledge of the truth. Amen. We are unshakable in the things of the kingdom. Yes. And one of the greatest things is to understand that Christ did a perfect work in him. Mm. You need to believe that. You know, men can say different. Let all men be uh, liars, but God be true. Wow. Let the word of God be our sure foundation. Amen. Let our mind comprehend the depth, the length, you know, the, you know, that of the greatness of God, of the love of God. Wow. Because it is so amazing. Sometimes we, we think it is, it is too much for us, yeah. but we have to agree and align our mind with it. Mm. That what God says, yeah. that is who we are. Oh, wow. When God says we are blessed, we are blessed. Let's agree on that. Even wow. when your situation is saying differently. Yes, yes. Because today, because people are facing a lot of challenges of life. Yes. You know, they are, they are looking, they are trying to measure God mm -hmm. with the physical things. Mm -hmm. But we don't measure God with the physical things. Yeah. It's a knowing that we know. That is why Paul would pray that the eyes of your understanding yeah. may be enlightened. Because there is an understanding that comes upon a believer yes. through the light knowledge. That makes you a king forever. Mm -hmm. You don't become a beggar anymore. Oh, you wow. reign mm -hmm. because your mind knows who you are. Yes. You are able to understand that you are seated together with Christ in the heavenly places. Yes. They are far above dominion, powers, authorities. You know you are seated together with Him. Oh, yeah. Let nothing put you down. Amen. May your mind continue to grow in grace oh, yes. and in the victory of the knowledge of what Christ has done. Amen. And this is a powerful powerful way mm. of a believer yeah. there are many who have been set free they are still in charge they gather some every Sunday yeah. but they get there like beggars yeah. they approach you know they approach that understanding yeah. in a dimension of beggars they don't know they are kings mm -hmm. the Bible says and to whom who have made us kings and priests unto God oh. we are kings yeah. a king is not a beggar oh. a yeah. king reigns in his life he knows his position mm -hmm. Situation may speak differently, yeah. but we are forever reigning in God, seated together with Him. And where our King is, there is power, oh, yeah. there is authority. Uh -huh. He exercises because He knows who He is. Yeah. Just imagine a king who does not know he is a king. Oh. He is in the street. He will not say this is a king. True. And so there are so many people who are still struggling. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the major things that they are struggling about is the knowledge problem. Yeah. Paul, the New Testament is a testament of knowledge. You shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Yeah. Because already Christ has done a perfect job. Wow. They are laboring, but their labor is, is, you know, they have a zeal. Mm -hmm. This zeal is out of knowledge. They don't know what Christ did. But when a man comes to the place of knowing, mm -hmm. I am no more a beggar. Oh, wow. I know that I am seated with Christ. Yeah. I know I am righteous. Mm -hmm. I know that I am blessed. When you know you are righteous, you cannot pray a prayer of a sinner. Yes. True. It's the mind. Mm -hmm. You have to align it. Yeah. What has happened to us after the coming of the knowledge of Christ mm -hmm. is, the, is the change now of the understanding. Yeah. I've been teaching about the two ministries. The ministry of death and condemnation mm -hmm. and the ministry of life in the state. Yeah. And this ministry, that is why mm -hmm. the approach here, here his ministry did Ikona utafauti mkubwa. Ya. Pile ya kwanza ni ya watu wabawa wanajaribu. Ni ya watu wabawa wanangangana. Wampedeze mungu. Ni ya watu wabawa wanakibizana. Ili wafanyike. Lakini hii gime. Ni ya watu wabawa wamefanyike. Ni ya watu wabawa wameketi na yeye. Ni ya watu wabawa wanatawara pamoja na kristu. Kama pili ya livyo hivyo divyo hivyo. Hivyo sasa ni kubadirisha mawazo. Na mtazamu. Kwa kujua sasa tumetolewa hapa, tumeingizwa hapa. Na sasa sisi hapa, hivi bivyo tunakana. Oh, the wow. mind must agree. It's just like when you are taken to state house today. Uh -huh. There are things you go and begin doing. Yes. Yeah, umekuja hapa uka nikapabia na tukika hapa uka niyabia by the way. Yeah, kwa sababu you are now uh -huh. adjusting to 
to here, this new environment. Now, what is happening to us? We are adjusting to the knowledge that now we have come into the kingdom of God, dear son. We cannot live like we are outside the kingdom of God, dear son. There is a way you can behave outside, but there is a way you behave inside. Yeah, you begin to enjoy what is provided there. You begin to celebrate if there is a celebration because this is a call of celebration. Oh, yeah, yeah. the mind is a battlefield. Oh, wow, yes, that was so good, it's so amazing. Glory to God. We were edified, yes, and it is so good to know that. Hallelujah! Uh, it is simply agreeing with what God yes. says, yes, agreeing with the word of God, with the word of God. At a kama situation, in a say otherwise, yes, at a kama economy, in a say otherwise, mm -hmm. you just stand firm. I was saying the other day yes. that we need to cling to the word of God, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. you know, she can, you are at unshakable, at kama, yes, yes. I think you like what I we should say that we are here. Yes, eh? yes. We walk in healing, yeah, we walk in healing. and prosperity of health. Yes. I should kiss care to symptoms. Mm -hmm. You just stand with I know. <laughs> I know. That I am healed. In fact, the Bible says, let the sick say they are healed. healed exactly. Let the weak say they are strong. strong. Yeah. So the language is so different, different. from the other apple. Mm. Those other, you know, the other person over the other side yeah. was praying that, oh God, hear my prayer. Yeah. You know, come for my help. Uh -huh. But now we are not asking for that help. We are declaring it because it is already manifesting us in the wow. name of Jesus. And the greatest hearing, by the way, because this is another area that many people struggle, yes. is that you have been made whole in God. The Bible says we are complete in God, who is the head of all principality. Yes. The body may be speaking something else, but that, that doesn't uh, uh, define it. Uh, define it. Mm -hmm. Does not say that you are not healed yeah. because you are struggling with a sickness, with an issue. Yeah. That does not mean that you are already healed. Mm. But now we continue to be created. Yeah. The more we be created, the, the more it manifests in us. Oh. Because already the spirit man is perfect in God, wow. totally healed. Yeah. He will never see death. Uh -huh. He will never be sick. Yes. Uh, he can never. When mutu uh -huh. akiyabu so you have to buy a riponya, mugu, ama crystal to ponya of Zet. Naziko perfect a hundred percent. Even if that person watching us, uh, watching us, you are on that sick bed. I want to remind you, you are whole. You are healed completely. You are complete in Christ. Now, when you know that in reality, you begin to speak it. That reality manifest, manifest in the physical. Oh, wow. yes. Amazing. <laughs> and there's something that I always say, uh -huh. that what you feed yes. grows, and yeah. what you serve dies. Very true. So feed, yes. on, the, feed like, on the word feed of God. Truth. Yes, okay. feed on the truth. Yeah, take uh -huh. that, you yes. it and you it manifest. Uh -huh. So we are so humbled to have yes, you. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm so much humbled. I've yes. learned a lot. And wow, thank you so much. That is just the name of the foundation. Uh -huh. We will still, <laughs> by God's grace, we will still be able to do it. 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 We will still be able to because, because uh, uh, we need to be able, uh, that is why uh, Philippians is saying uh, that everything that is perfect, you know, uh, that is good, is pure, uh, you know, consider this. That is becoming a master over your mind. There is a way I will give several things that you need to be able to have to control the mind. Because many believers, they are yes enjoying, they say they are born again, I am saved by grace, but yet they don't have peace. The word is not working in them. That reality is not happening. Mm -hmm. When issues of life come, they are overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So we can be able to grow. Mm -hmm. We understand how we can be able to become masters yeah. and, uh, and uh, have peace no matter the challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, James says that count it all joy when you are passing through diverse temptations. Mm -hmm. You come to look at those things, oh, wow. which are very important. I cannot wait. Yes. Learn more and, of course, mm -hmm. We are blessing. We are blessing. Hallelujah. See, see what eh? mm -hmm. Now, thank you, Sandra. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Welcome again. We can uh, grace continue yes. yes. You're such a great man of God. Amen. Very humble. Like glory me. to God. Eh? Christ, I manifest. Yes. <laughs> Amen. We bless God. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you so me. much. Yes. Uh, it's an honor to have, have dinner for the glory of God. Yes. Yeah, so you continue teaching us. Amen. Yeah. So yes. thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. I believe that you're blessed. You are edified. 
and that you umejua that the battle the mind is a battlefield yes and you overcome your battles in the mind so may god do you good may god continue blessing you it's a honor to have you here na najua mungu anaendelea zaidi kuwafunza and it is always a pleasure to have you so may god bless you have a very good time amen salam